Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and this is my son Ben and today we have a closer look to the new McKellen rare cask batch number two vintage 2019 or say better say release 2019. Yep. So it's uh, one of these non-age statement w uh, whiskies from McAllen. We've had a lot of them. Uh, the ruby, sienna, amber, amber, gold. Gold? Gold. Gold? Okay. Was it the cheapest? The cheapest. My like gold. <laughs> cheapest. <laughs> yeah, and this here is now the rare cast number two. I think we missed the number one. And they are doing a batch of 50 casks or butts. Mm -hmm and finding the, the best ones of them and this is now from that batch and it's a bottle close to 200 euros so mm -hmm. it's very expensive um but, but yeah mm -hmm. but compared to the 18 year old it's actually Cheap. not as expensive <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's cheaper so the 18 year old double cast we had last week it was 340 something mm -hmm. so yeah, it's not that expensive, but compared to other distilleries with their non eight statement whiskies, uh, well, it's pricey. So that's McCallum. Maybe it's not. Uh, maybe it's not as old as the eighteen year old. Probably, and around this you have <laughs> again a package. So I did not uh, repack it, and here you have the opening. Opening and. Nothing. We have to do a second opening. And then here you have the bottle in an altar shaped box. And it's massive, it's heavy, mm. it has a very thick glass bottom. I think these guys from McGallan have a bit of a too much glass going on in their <laughs> production. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. So this is a premium bottle mm -hmm. and it's 43% ABV, it's chill filtered. But it's not colored as none of the McCallum whiskey is, is colored. And if you have a look at this very dark color, there's a lot of sherry influence in it and maybe also a lot of age in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So on the stopper, there is this band roll with a hologram on it so that you can't fake the bottle. But it's strange that they, they're not having the 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 screw open counterfeit uh, <laughs> or uh, counter faking uh, stopper that they have usually strange but hmm. yeah I think it does not fit to this this is a metal uh, stopper with a cork in it mm -hmm. and uh, this shiny glass together with a plastic cap no way for a rare cask ah so you think that they they said okay we're not going for the plastic uh, the yeah. screw one because we have plastic in there okay mm -hmm. maybe that maybe that's the reason yeah yeah Slogger. Slogger. wow that's a massive aroma mm -hmm. uh, a lot of really a very lot of sherry in it and behind that citrus fruits a little other fruits like probably apples and on over all of that there is caramel vanilla light sweet tone very complex and in the back <clears throat> already a little bit of a spicy note so this is complex this is massive mm -hmm. yeah uh, the, the the most common thing here is it's it has raisins, it has dried fruit, it's fairly sweet with these fruitiness and the dried fruit, um, but it already has some uh, oak in it, some intensity, some little bit of chocolate as well. Mm. It's, it's massive. Oh, yeah. a, a lot of more immediate aroma than the 18 years old yeah, had. Yeah. yeah. And also a little fruity character of fresh fruits or citrus fruits so maybe it's a mixture between uh, very old whiskies and maybe they put some young in as well to have a bit of a <laughs> kick to it 
<laughs> to have the old dad casks revived with a young one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a wonderful, complex mm -hmm. aroma. Mm -hmm. Cheers, man. Mm -hmm. So this one is attacking, is really, you have a mouth full of it and there is oakiness in it. Massive strong oakiness with a little bitterness together and then in the aftertaste a little bit more of citrus, probably going to citrus peel and no longer that, well say, sweet as it was in the, ta uh, in the nose. In the aftertaste, this is more uh, oak, more citrus peel, a little bit of dark chocolate probably in it, and the the sweet vanilla caramel start uh, changes to a massive oaky aftertaste. Mm -hmm. mm. Very intense and uh, very mature. It does have a lot of dried fruit, a lot of oak in it, a lot of mm, bittersweet chocolate, a little bit of normal chocolate in there, milk chocolate, mm, some fruits. It's a very complex one. So it's it's hard to describe everything that's going on in your mouth. Because so there are younger characters and older mm -hmm. characters in it. Mm -hmm. So I, I think your guess was right, that they have a mixture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would say it's, but it's more hefty, not as gentle and elegant as the 18 year old. So it's it's really saying, yeah, I'm there, I'm here, I'm and, mm -hmm. and really expanding in volume and, and going everywhere. So this bottle mm -hmm. is definitely drinkable. Yeah. Uh, but it's as well collectible mm -hmm. because it shows this uh, release date and the batch number. Mm -hmm. But I have no idea how many bottles are on the market. So how rare it really will be in the future. Uh, yeah, wonderful piece. Yeah, it's a wonderful piece. Mm -hmm. And if you compare it to the 18-year-old double cask. Much more intense, mm -hmm. much more flavor, but not as elegant. Not as elegant, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but I like it. I like it. Elegant it, in the inside. In much the more inside. elegant on the outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, um, I would say it's one of these drums that when you ha want to have a a full flavored dram to the very end. That's that's a, a, a one dram. From the 18 year old, you could have two or three and not be overwhelmed uh, when you have a whole evening in front of you. This one would be too much to, to have it like on the side. This wants to be focused on. Yeah. Even though the 18 year old, you should focus on it as well. <laughs> Price. <It's>, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so thank you very much. If you like this review, then please feel free to give it a thumbs up and see you next time.